Hey everybody, it's Miss Denton. I am back again to give you another art lesson to do this week. I hope that you are enjoying this beautiful weather that we've been blessed with. I hope that you are enjoying time with your family and I am looking forward to the day that we can make art together again soon. So stay tuned and enjoy this lesson. Today we're gonna be making a little 3D hot air balloon. So the first thing you're gonna need is some colored paper. You're gonna be using four different pieces. If you do not have colored paper at home, you can use regular white paper that you have colored designs on or just do regular white paper to draw your balloons and then you can decorate them and then put them together. So that is definitely an option as well. I just happen to have colored paper at home, but if you don't, don't worry about it. You can use white paper and make yours even more unique. You're also gonna need some glue. So I prefer a glue stick just because it dries a little bit faster, but if you only have liquid glue at home, that will work as well. You're gonna need something to draw with. So I would suggest a pencil, and then you're gonna need some scissors, and you're gonna need a toilet paper roll. So I'm sure all of us have been home long enough to at least have one of these or a paper towel roll laying around. We're going to be using a piece of this as our little basket for our hot air balloon. So stay tuned and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paper. I'm going to do one on a white sheet of paper for those of you who don't have colored paper so that you know um, what you can do in case you don't have colored paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curved shape. So I'm almost taking up most of my paper here. And then I'm going to, as I make that curve coming around, instead of making a complete circle, I'm gonna come down straight or kind of at an angle and make this part flat. So I'm coming down. So it almost looks like almost a seashell shape where they ha you have a curve and then it comes in and it makes a flattened edge. So the best thing to do is to create one of these shapes and cut it out and then use it to trace on all your other colors. So I'm going to do that and show you um, the next step. All right, so I've cut out my first shape and I'm going to lay it on the next paper that I'm going to use and I'm going to trace it so that I can have the shapes as close as possible because we want them to be matching because we're going to be attaching them to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this on the next three colors and then I will show you what that looks like. All right, so now I have traced my balloon shape on the green, the pink, and the yellow. So now with the white one, I have four different shapes and I'm gonna cut all of these out and I will show you the next step. All right, so now I have my four shapes cut out and if you use the white paper, now would be the perfect time to decorate it and put whatever designs you want on it. So I'm gonna actually do some polka dots on mine just to give it some character and show you what you can do. In fact, if you have colored paper at home, you might choose to use white paper anyway so you, that you can decorate your hot air balloon. So let me go ahead and decorate it and I'll show you um, what it looks like in a minute. All right, so I added my designs and as you can see, I'm using the same colors on all of these, the same markers on all of these, but you can see that the colored paper kind of made those markers change colors. So it's kind of up to you. If you like that white look where you can kind of create your own design, or if you like the color paper look, it's up to you. So now this is all, now that they're all decorated, we are ready to start the next step of gluing them together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper and you wanna fold it in with the, with the decorations on the inside. So I'm gonna fold it in half, as perfectly in half as you can. And it's not gonna be perfect because obviously our shapes aren't perfect that we drew but as perfectly in half. So I would try to match up these bottom pieces. Don't worry about the curved pieces as much. Match up those bottom pieces when you fold it. So I folded that one. I'm gonna fold the next one. And the next one. And the last one. All right, so now that they're all folded, we're gonna start gluing them together. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and glue these together. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one half of my balloon. I'm gonna add some glue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the other pieces and I'm gonna glue those two sides together. All right, so that is the first one. So now I'm gonna take the next one and put glue on. And I'm gonna glue it to this one. So now I have two more pieces left and that's where I'm gonna glue this last one. So this time I'm gonna have to do glue on both sides. So I'm gonna start on one side and glue it down. The last piece is gonna be a little tricky. So I'm gonna glue it on here. And then I'm gonna have to add glue to one of these sides, which it's cool because you can kind of fold this down. Add glue to the other side. And I want to fold it over and glue that there. So then when I open it, you can see that I now have all four of my pieces together. Next, I'm gonna take my toilet paper roll and I'm going to create the little basket that hangs underneath the balloon. So I don't need all of this. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze it a little bit and cut a part of it off. So there's the piece I'm gonna use. And this cardboard is usually um, a really light color. So you can add some decorations onto this too. So maybe you wanna come and put some polka dots on your basket. or whatever decorations you want. So now would be the time to add whatever decorations you want to your little basket. Uh, maybe I want to use, maybe I want to actually make it look like a basket. Let me show you how to make a basket um, weave. So what you do is you're gonna make some lines at an angle. So some slanted lines all the way around. And then look, I'm coming back to where I started. So now that I've done my last one, now I'm gonna go back in a, the other direction, making those slanted lines. And you see how it's kind of making a basket weave. So I'm really making it look like a little basket. I'm just doing the same design, just going back the other way. So now I have a little basket. So now comes the fun part of attaching our basket to our balloon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of the scrap pieces of paper from our balloon. So pick a color or pick, uh, or maybe color it white if you use the white paper. So pink was just the first one that I grabbed. So I'm gonna take this scrap paper and I'm gonna cut four strips of paper from it. So one, two, three, four, okay? And I'm gonna use my glue stick and I'm going to glue, put a little bit of glue on it, and I'm gonna glue this to the inside of my toilet paper roll like this. So that's my first piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them. You wanna try to make sure that you match them up, so I'm gonna glue my other one right behind this one. So I add my glue, I'm gonna try to line it up as best as I can, glue it right behind that other one. And now I wanna do one on each side. Put my glue on, putting it on the inside of that basket. All right, and then the last one, putting my glue on there and sticking it to the inside of my basket. All right, so now I've got my four pieces. Now I need to glue them onto my balloon. So you might need some help um, from an, a parent with this, trying to get it to sit right. So 
I'm gonna start by adding glue to the ends. I'm gonna do all of them. I'm gonna do glue here and here and here and here. Then I'm going to bring my balloon in. I'm going to stick those strings on one on each side of the balloon. So you see how I'm turning it? My glue is drying faster than I can stick it. Need one more spot. My glue dried too fast. All right, so now I have glued on my basket. So here is my little hot air balloon. So I hope you enjoyed this art activity. I enjoyed making it with you and I will send you another video next week.